Welcome back to Breakfast Television. This is Spencer West. He is back. He made headlines internationally for climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, which he did on his hands as well as a wheelchair, while raising funds to help provide clean water to more than 1,200 people. And that goal has increased now. You join us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. We always continue to be inspired by you. And tell us about your new goal. Thank you. Yeah, we're really excited. So we're launching We Walk for Water again, but all across Canada. Um, our goal is to bring clean water to 50,000 people for life. Um, it's super simple to get involved. You can just go to our website at we.org, and $25 provides clean water for one person for life. Okay, and you've seen this firsthand, so speak about uh, the clean water, because I think, obviously, we live in a privileged society, and we sure. take for granted that we have clean water. What, are this, what does this mean to these people? Yeah, so a lot of times, girls in particular um, aren't going to school. They're expected to collect water from the river four to five times a day, and that's roughly about on average about six kilometers from where they live back and forth and most girls and women spend about 200 million hours per day collecting water globally Wow! so we want to help alleviate that and but also help with waterborne illnesses and those sorts of things so hopefully girls will be able to go to school and then everybody will be a bit healthier as well okay so you've brought along some canisters here I and did. speak about these these because this is accurately what people would be carrying yeah so this is what typically the mamas carry in Kenya um, the jug is full and it's about probably roughly about 80 pounds and how they do it is they they have a the rope there that goes over their head and then they carry the water on their back and they sort of like slump over like that so that's what they do four or five times a day every Incredible. single day okay yeah. I'm gonna try yeah 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 give try it a roll it's super heavy it's basically lifting me well done that was yeah. good and then this would that would go on the top of your head and then and then you would carry that on your back. Usually you'd have help, but I'm too short. <laughs> no problem. I think that's about as far as we might get today with this. <laughs> yeah. um, but it gives a nice perspective, it's right? It's heavy, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so for people who are interested in getting involved, how do you motivate people to to find meaning in this cause? Yeah, I mean, that's the whole idea of this campaign, is not only to just donate, but on April 27th, we're encouraging people to do their own water walk, whether that's at their school or in their community, so they can get a sense of what it's like on a daily basis that women have to do that we take for granted here in North America. Okay, so what would that involve for school kids? Um, we have a whole kit online um, at we.org that gives them all the necessary um, posters and resources to be able to create that water walk and also raise awareness at the same time, um, as well as we have it for communities. Um, again, if you just go to our website, there's a whole slew of resources that you can click on and they're all free. 50,000 people, what kind of a difference does that make? It sounds like a big number, but it's kind of the, yeah. the beginning, right? Yeah, it, it, it'll make a huge difference for community members all around the world. And again, it'll allow girls to be able to go to school because um, that's the number one problem that we see is that they're helping with the chores and collecting water other than getting an education. Yeah. So that's the big thing. Okay, and uh, you know, absolutely worthy of putting some attention to this Thank cause and, and educating yourself. What results do you see when you see clean water in these communities? Yeah, I mean, what's amazing is now we're seeing girls that have not only, you know, graduated primary school, but they're going on to high school, and some of them are even going on to university where they might not have had that opportunity before. And then we're looking at health. Health is looking better in the communities in which we work because they're also learning about um, sanitation and the importance of washing your hands and boiling water and those sorts of things when they're still collecting from the river. Incredible. Yeah. I'm amazed at how pragmatic you are about taking on these huge challenges. <laughs> what continues to motivate you? What drives you towards making change? Yeah, you know what? I spend every summer overseas um, facilitating our trips um, in places like Kenya and India, and I get to hang out with the mamas and the girls every summer. And so to be able to continue to help them and I'll bring other people in to do the same is what drives me. Yes, and to yeah. see kids here at home making a difference. And where can people go again to get involved? Yeah, just we.org, and right on the landing page is all the information for We Walk for Water. Okay, that's the hashtag yes. as well. So that's how you can get on board. and. Uh, you know, this truly gives perspective to uh, the challenges that people face in other parts of the world. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.